Hey, what's up? It's Ian Koniak, and today I'm going to give you my top five keys to building wealth in sales or entrepreneurship if you're a business owner. Um, I'm making this video from, it's called a panoramic ocean tree house where we're staying in Nayarit, Mexico, and I'll give you kind of a preview in back of us. We have a private pool. We're up in the forest. This is the best room that the hotel has at the one and only Mandarina, and it just is the most breathtaking place I've ever stayed in in my life. We're here for our 10 year anniversary, and it's been just such an amazing bond for me and my wife to be here without the kids. And I'm just reflecting and I'm so grateful for the life that we have. But I will tell you, it's all been earned. I wasn't handed a penny. I started in sales going door to door selling copiers. And here I am 20 years later being able to take incredible vac vacations like this and really um, do what we want when we want without ever having to worry about money, which in my mind is freedom. It's not about materialistic. You know, you can see my shirt, I'm wearing my hat. It's not about having a lot of bling or an expensive car. It's being able to provide for your family um, and basically do the things you want without the constraint of having to say no because you can't afford it. So um, I'm gonna share my top five tips for building wealth in sales. So the first tip, tip number one, is you must have clarity on what you want. Clarity is the number one thing. When I say clarity, it means two things. Number one is having a clear why, because if you don't have a clear why you're doing what you're doing, it's going to feel like a grind. It's going to feel hard. But if you're connected to your why um, and you're connected to a greater vision for what you want your life to look like, in other words, seeing something before it manifests, that's what clarity is. It's having a clear why and it's having vision for what you want. That's number one. Number two is once you have the clarity, the biggest shortcut you can take in life to be able to achieve the highest level of success is modeling those who've done it before you. When I say modeling, what I mean is number two is mentorship. Having a mentor, and I'm not talking about watching YouTube videos like this, I'm not talking about reading books, I'm talking about actually getting a mentor and working with them to be able to understand and learn exactly how they did what you wanna do and follow their playbook. I've been investing and paying in coaches and mentors for the past six years, and since I've done that, every year my income has continued to rise and basically my standards get higher and higher. So now my mentors are people that talk about and show me how to grow an eight-figure business where um, four years ago when I started my business, my mentors were just building a brand on social media and building a brand and building content. So always working with mentors and then always up leveling your mentors based on where you want to go next. So I've had mentors in brand building, in uh, entrepreneurship, in sales, in um, spirituality, you name it. Everything I want to do, I get a mentor and work with them so I can achieve what uh, they want. You'll see that all over. Anyone who's been really, really successful has mentors, has coaches, and nine times out of 10, they are in a investing relationship when they're investing significantly in their own development. There's no better investment you can make than investing in a mentor. You can do this through a coach, through a mastermind, through working with someone like me, or just finding people who have done it before that now offer their services. Just make sure that they've done it at the highest level and that it's not just people on social media going da 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 that haven't actually done the thing you wanna do. Number three, once you have mentorship, the purpose of a mentor is to show you and to give you a playbook on what to do and what not to do. In other words, where to spend your time. So number three is focus. Focus is what allows you to say yes to the things that get you towards your goals and no to the things that don't. In other words, if you want to make a million dollars in sales, but you don't have a mentor and know how to do it, you're just going to be guessing on your own. But when you get that mentor and you get their playbook, then you can focus on doing the things that they tell you you need to do to be able to succeed. So focus means saying yes to the things that get you there and saying no to the things that don't. So I guess with focus comes time management, valuing your time, being able to truly um, know the things that you can say yes to. Whereas most other people, the mediocre, the good, but not the elite, um, let their calendar control them. In other words, their demands from their customers or from their boss or from 
you know, other employees end up taking over their day and they can't say yes to the things that matter most in sales. That's, you know, creating pipeline. It's going after big deals. It's advancing pipeline versus going to internal meetings or, you know, spending time on administrative tasks, which frankly don't actually move the needle. So um, those same things apply in entrepreneurship, how and where I spend my time. I have great clarity on what to do and what not to do because I have that playbook. Number four, once you have the focus, you need discipline. Number four is discipline. There are plenty of days when I simply don't feel like showing up because I'm not motivated. Well, discipline means commitment. It means, you know, doing what you said you're going to do long after the mood you said you're going to do on it, do it fades away. So it's like New Year's resolutions. You're, you're all excited. It's the new year. You're going to go to the gym. You're going to lose weight. You're going to get fitness, you're going to work harder, and then it fades away. Why? Because you're relying on motivation. Whereas top performers, entrepreneurship and salespeople are relying on discipline. They show up even on the days they don't feel like it because they keep their word to themselves. They commit and keep their words. Commitment and discipline go hand in hand. You cannot rely on motivation. I don't even worry about motivation anymore. If I need to do it, I just do it because I'm so used to being uncomfortable. Okay, discipline means being uncomfortable constantly and living in your zone of discomfort versus staying in your comfort zone, which is making a certain income and justifying why you're not more successful and saying, well, I should just be grateful. I shouldn't worry about this stuff. You know, no, that's just basically being comfortable. Okay, if you really want to live your dream life where you get to do what you want, when you want, with who you want, it's going to require being uncomfortable and being disciplined every single day. And the final number five um, way to get very, very wealthy in sales or entrepreneurship is through patience, having patience. And when you have patience, again, if you're in a dopamine driven society, which we are in the United States, at least where you constantly on your phone, you constantly have social media, you constantly want to get um, immediate reinforcement that doesn't come when you're selling very large deals that take a long time. That doesn't come when you're starting a business and you don't necessarily have clients. Having the right process, the right focus and trusting the process, trusting that if you do the right things every single day, that it's going to work out and eventually your time will come has been absolutely key for me. Even in months that are slow, even in times that are slow, I've always kind of treated whether it's month, let's say it's January 15th, in a new fiscal year versus December 31st at the end of a, a fiscal year, assuming you're on the calendar year. I work the same whether it's January or December. There's not this ebb and flow of how hard I work. It's just a matter of showing up consistently and being patient and trusting the process. It's the old hare and the tortoise. The hare who runs fast and then stops is going to get past and lose the race by the tortoise that simply takes consistent steps every single day. And that's really what patience is all about is just being patient, not wanting immediate gratification and learning to delay gratification so that you can essentially um, continue to show up even when the rewards, even when the money, even when the results aren't necessarily yielding yet because they will come if you have the right plan and if you stay patient and committed and disciplined. So just to recap, number one is clarity. Number two is mentorship. Number three is focus. Number four is discipline and number five is patience. With that, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my vacation, take a dip in this pool, go read a book. I'll bid you guys farewell. I hope this video is super helpful for anyone who wants to get wealthy and live the life of their dreams because I promise you, if I can do it, you can do it too. I'll see you guys later. I'm signing off.